Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsi, your host. I'm going to have a first math question for you. This is the practical math question for today. It is this, how long does light travel around the Earth? How long does it take? How many seconds? All right, so let's think about this for a minute. How will we solve this type of question? Now, you would need a set of data in order to solve this question. Right? So take a few minutes, pause this video, and think about what you need to solve this question. Okay, so how do we solve this question? We need a set of data. Okay, so the first thing we need is the circumference of a circle. In this case, we're talking about the Earth. Alright, so. Earth is relatively spherical and we can assume we we'll start at the equator okay because this has the largest circumference of a sphere and uh, now I can't show it but it's actually around the earth okay we'll take the equator and at the equator the circumference of the earth is about 40,000 and uh, 75 kilometers. Okay. What else do we need? Well, we need the speed of light. What is the speed of light? How fast does light, tra light travel? Now, thank goodness, light travel at constant speed, which is about 300,000 kilometers per second. Okay, so these two set of data will help us solve this question. The question is, how do we take these set of data and find the answer? Well, if you look at the set of data we have, the circumference, and let's say speed, we'll call it V for now. It's usually stand for velocity, but we, it's not really velocity. Velocity has to have direction, but we'll just for now put as V, okay, without our vector line. We'll talk about vector later on. But we'll just let it make a symbol of a uh, letter, so I'll call it V for now. And make it 300,000 kilometers per second. Now, we got to solve this. Somehow, we are going to combine these two numbers together in order to find the answer. Now, what I do is I look at the unit, and I'm going to combine them such a way that at the end, the answer will be in time, in second. Okay, so I want you to think about this. Look at these two number and see how you can arrange it in such that the final answer will be in second. Okay, this is the process of dimensional analysis. We are going to look at the two number, look at their units, and see how we arrange them such that we get at the end the final answer in seconds. Okay, so to do that, you notice that we, well, let's look at the speed first. It's kilometers per second. What if, instead of writing 300,000 kilometers per second, we put, for every one second, gives us about 300,000 kilometers, right? And then, um, we're going to multiply by 40,075 kilometers. Now, using the dimension analysis method, we are now looking at the unit. If the unit, say kilometers, is over kilometers, it cancel itself out. And what we would get is one second times 40,075 divided by 300,000. We will get the answer in second. So, you might want to grab your calculator. The answer is 0.1. Three, and let's make it to uh, three decimal places. Three, four. So, less than a second. In fact, oh, uh, a little bit above a tenth of a second. Okay. So, more than a little bit more than a tenth of a second is how much the light travel around the Earth. Interesting. Next time, we're gonna figure out how fast can light travel from here to the moon and back. How many? How many? Uh, 
how many seconds it would take. So please uh, think about that and guess what you think it is. And think about what kind of set of data you need. Thanks for watching. Educate2.com.